Hello again, Blair Bear fans, and welcome to tonight's contest between the Blair Bears and the Wahoo Newman Cavaliers coming in to take on the Blair Bears here tonight. Cavaliers at 7-7. Seven and seven. Blair Bears at 5-7. and seven. As the Blair Bears trying to rebound after the loss down at Platteview. And Shane, uh, Shane Morris joining me here. And Shane, that uh, game down at Platteview, just one of those games that I think Put in the rearview mirror and forget about it. Boy, isn't that the truth? You never Absolutely. want to you never want to see a tape on that one again. No, you want to you want to make sure that you hide that one away and let everybody forget about it and start all over here tonight. And there's there's not much to be learned from no. that game. They had their opportunities. The shots were there. They just weren't going in. And the only thing you're going to learn is we weren't shooting well that night. And so it's it's not worth revisiting that. We won't talk about it about it much more than we just did. So. Let's move on to tonight's game. We're back here at the friendly confines of the Blair uh, Gymnasium. We've got a pretty good crowd here tonight as Wahoo Newman coming in. Double hitter for you tonight. Also tomorrow night, got another one as Elkhorn Antlers will come to town to take on. And, of course, we'll talk a little bit about the Eastern Midland Conference matchups coming up next week. That'll be underway for that tournament, and uh, it's always exciting. Blair Bears, the girls will be at home and the uh, boys will be on the road. But uh, here tonight, let's take a look at the uh, Cavaliers and the Blair Bears. Starting here tonight for uh, Newman, coming in at 7-7. Seven seven. Jason Simons is the head coach for the Cavaliers. Terry, uh, Tara Train, uh, Trini, 5'8", senior. Sophia Yager is a 5'8", senior. Uh, Madeline Blum is a 5'8 senior. Shelby Chabick, 5'9 junior. And Haley Teeley, Teeley, excuse me, Tila is a 5'6 freshman. That is the starting lineup for the Cavaliers here tonight. The Cavaliers usually have a really good program. It was a couple years back, both the Wahoo Public and Wahoo Newman's girls teams were fighting for a spot in the state playoffs, and they were. I think they both ended up making it. One made it on points, one made, won the district. So they're both really good clubs, usually bring in a tough squad, and traditionally one of the top teams in the state. And you don't see it very often, but Teal is a 5'6 freshman starting for the Cavaliers. Normally they hang right in there with those uh, seniors and juniors, but uh, Teal must be something special to be able to break that uh, starting. For squad. Newman especially, I mean, they've got, they've got you know, six what five or six juniors and seniors on this club so you know they've got some girls that have been in the program for a while so for, for a freshman to come into a, a program an established program like newman and start she's probably a pretty special player grace bottle not here tonight a 5'8 senior that might be the reason uh she might be one of the starters we That's don't know very about, possible uh, she is ill not here so let's take a look at the blair bears here starting here tonight starting lineup melissa trainer a 5'7 sophomore Morgan Anderson, 5'1", sophomore. Maddie Blaha, the 5'3", senior. Michelle Trulin, 5'7", senior. Michelle, uh, leading scorer, right at about 15 points a ball game. So we need... Uh, she does a nice job for us. Absolutely. Sydney Locke, 5'7", sophomore, rounds out the starting lineup for head coach Sean Eckler. I'm going to bring it on the camera for the uh, national anthem. Absolutely. We'll take that break, and we'll see if we can't get the national anthem picked up here. Oh,
singing the national anthem. Always a great sight when the student steps up and sings away on that national anthem. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. American Broadband, your hometown internet, cable television, telephone provider. American Broadband, serving all of your communication needs. BlairSports.net is the website to go to to listen and watch for all the live action of the Blair Bears. American Broadband Channel 97 and, of course, the HD Channel 98. Go there on your American Broadband television. Enterprise Publishing, Blair Community Schools, Blair Community Schools Foundation, Blair Chamber of Commerce, Nannan and Heart Physical Therapy, your leader in sports medicine for over 18 years. We are ready to get underway here. As the tip goes back, Treaty will tip it back, and Teal will have it, the 5 6 freshman for Newman. Man to man defense for the Blair Bears. On the right side, Yager kicks it over. Chappick swings it over on the left side as Teal, or excuse me, Treaty, gets it to Teal. Here's a three on the way to start things off. No good. Rebound pulled down by Anderson on the backside for the Blair Bears. Brings it up. Crosses over. Sets between the circles. Right side, Blaha. Way on the right side. Top of the key, Trainer Swings it around. Locke looks underneath. Ooh, Blah was there. And then Trulin, baseline on the left side. Kicks it out to Blaha. Anderson swings it. Trainer on the corner on the right side. Swinging the ball around the arc, trying to get something open. Baseline, Blaha, back to Locke. Locke at the free throw line, kicks it over. Anderson on the right side. Trulin, baseline on the right side. Skips it back out. Being very patient here on offense. Tries to get it inside the lock, and now ball fought for. Anderson comes up with a loose ball. Blaha at the top of the key, swings it into Trainer. Trainer back out to Anderson, swings it. Locke goes baseline. Turns around, jump shot inside the paint, good. So Locke, turn around, jump shot, knocks it down for two with 6.32 remaining. Blair leads 2-0 here in the first. Teal has it way out front. Kicks it on the right side, Trini. Gets it over to Chappick. Chappick right back, good pick off by Trulin. Trulin holds it up, doesn't have the numbers. Gets it back to Anderson. Anderson now between the circles. On the right side, Blaha looks, gets the pick. Crosses back over, and she's going to carry the ball over. That'll be a turnover. So the Blair Bears turn it right back. They lead 2 nothing with 6.09 remaining here in the first. Cavaliers will bring it up. Teal will have it. She'll bring it across to half court. Picked up by Anderson. Cuts through. Double high post. Swinging it around. Treaty gets it over to Teal. Right back. Blum takes the shot. Parsley blocked. Rebound on the backside. Put up by Teal. And she'll be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. So the foul will be on Anderson. Mornix Anderson picks up her first foul. And Teal at the line for shoot two. First one up. Hits the front of the rim. Rings to the back and goes in. Looking to tie this one up with 5.50 remaining here in the first period. Second one on the way, nothing but net, and it's 2-2. Blaha brings the ball up for the Blair Bears, gets it across half court between the circles, crosses back over, looks, Anderson on the right side. Anderson working on the right side, tries to get it over to Trainer, and she's going to end up traveling with 5.36 remaining in the first, still tied, 2-2. Powell will check in for Trainer. Audrey Powell back in action after having a broken finger, or I think, and made it back. Teal working to the left side for the Cavaliers. Kicks it over, three on the way, off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Powell. Audrey, good job. Gets hit a little bit from behind, picks up the dribble. Shot was by Yager. Top of the key. Locke kicks it over to Blaha. Trula now sets, puts up the three, and foul is called. So Treaty will pick up her first foul. And then Blair will have the ball underneath their own basket. Trula will inbounds. Anderson comes down. Nothing there. Locke gets it. Goes up. Shot. Good. Count it. 
And she'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Foul on Teal. That will be her first. Locke puts it in for two. See if she can finish it out here. 5.06 remaining. Free throw on the way off the rim. No good. Rebound pulled down, and now foul will be called on Powell. So Powell picks up her first foul. Just being aggressive going after the rebound and got tied up. Blair leads by two here. 4-2 with 5.05 remaining here in the first period. Teal brings it up for the Cavaliers. Picked up by Anderson. Cuts to the right side. Sets, fires up a three. No good. Rebound pulled down by Blaha. Quickly gets it up to lock and then it's tipped out of bounds. Goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Blair Bears. Good hustle by the Cavaliers. Treaty hustling back, knocking the ball away. Melanie Bloom will come back in for the Blair Bears. Lobs it into Locke. Locke looks, hands it. Trulin turns around, takes the shot. She'll be called for the traveling. So inbounds play was there. Just turned it over on the travel. 4.48 remaining here in the first. Blair still leading by two, 4-2. Teal brings it up. Right side. Coming up is Vesa. Vesa kicks the ball around. Treaty gets it over to Teal. Teal hands the ball. Gets it to Maduda. Madonna. Here's the shot by Teal on the way off the rim. No good. Long rebound and good hustle. Pulled it down by Vesa. Gets it over to Teal. Or, yeah, Teal swings it over. Gets it to Bloom. Bloom now looking. Can't find anybody. Gets it right back. Ooh, good hustle by Anderson as she knocks the ball out of bounds. And so the Cavaliers will get the ball right next to the Blair bench with 4-11 remaining in the first, 4-2. Teal gets the inbound pass. Madonna swinging the ball around out front. Madonna gets it right back. Here's a long two on the way off the front of the rim. No good by Vesa. Picked up by Trulin. She'll go all the way in on the right side. Flip it over to Trainer. Trainer, nice catch. Swings it out to Anderson, top of the key. Anderson right back to Trainer. Trainer makes the fake and she'll be called for traveling. 344 remaining here in the first, and it's still 4-2. Low scoring ball game here in the first. Madonna, the 5-5 sophomore, inbounds to Teal. Teal brings the ball up, guarded by Anderson. Quick kicks it out. Chapik swings it. Here's the shot by Teal on the way, and she gets it. So Teal knocks down a three, and that puts the Cavaliers ahead, 5-4. Anderson brings it up on the far side. Gets it between the circles. Works to that side. Trulin looks, kicks it out. Powell catching shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Vesa. She will get it out to Teal. Teal passes it ahead to Madonna. Tries to feed it inside. Turn around, shot, no good. Backside rebound. Step back inside, no good. Ball tipped away. Fought for, goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Cavaliers. Chabik has the shot underneath, just couldn't put it away. 255 remaining, 5-4. Cavaliers leading by one in the corner. Three on the way off the front of the rim. No good. A little short by Vesa. Anderson brings it up. Passes up. Found Trulin. Left side. Shot. No good. Rebound fought for. Good job by Powell. Gets it out. Anderson comes down with it. Kicks it underneath. There's a shot. Good by Powell. So Powell, the right place at the right time. Anderson finding her. Knocking down two. Blur goes up by one. 6-5 here with 228 remaining in the first. Bloom gets it right back, three on the way, and down as Vesa knocks down a three. And 8-6 up by two here. Cavaliers leading over the Blair Bears. Anderson now gets it over to Trulin in the right wing. Powell, little pick and roll, goes underneath, catches it, trying to work. Ball goes out of bounds, and that's going to be Blair's ball underneath their own basket. Good help side defense by the Cavaliers, and Blair Bears will have the ball down by two here. 8-6 with 2.03 remaining in the first period. Trulin inbounds to Powell. Powell on the right baseline. 
Back out the uh, Blaha. Swings it. Truland sets. Fires up a three off the rim. No good. Long rebound run down by Teal. And now Powell will pick up the foul. So Audrey Powell picks up her second foul. With 1.52 remaining in the first 8-6. Newman leading here over the Blair Bears. Yaga will inbounds to Teal. Teal walks it up for the Cavaliers. Picked up by Blaha. Top of the key. Swings it over. Yager now right back. Sets, fires up, and we've got traveling called on Bloom. Bloom with that little catch and then did the little hop. And she traveled with 138 remaining. Blair will have the ball back. A chance to tie it up here or go ahead by one. Trulin. Brings it up. Little pressure in the backcourt. Blaha will bring it across. Guarded by Teal. On the right side. Trainer on the left wing, excuse me. Top of the key. Lock swings it over to Blaha. Top of the key is Trulin. Right back to Blaha. Blaha now crosses over. Can't find anybody. And then she carried the ball over. Turned it over. The 115 remaining here in the first 8-6. Cavaliers still leading by two here. Teal brings it up. Two guard front. Yager looks, gets it on the right side to Blum. Blum now looks for the cutters. Stepping out is Chappick. Chappick gets the ball on the left side. Yager right back to Teal. Teal now guarded by Blaha. Swings it over to Blum. Blum now looks for the cutters. Coming through and... Boy, good job by Powell as she steps through to pick that one off. Goes on the right side, feeds it over to Trulin. Trulin can't hang on to it. It goes out of bounds. And that'll be Cavaliers ball with 41 seconds remaining here in the first 8-6. They'll have it. Teal will bring it up. Picked up by Blaha. Crosses over. Kicks it. Right back, Teal sets up a three, rims in and out, no good. Lott comes down with a rebound, and then she's going to be tied up by Madonna. So Anderson checking back in with 27 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. 8-6, alternating possession, Blair gets the ball. Anderson walks up, looks for the trap at half court, and then kicks it. As Powell underneath on the left side goes in, shot no good. Rebound on the back side by Chappick. She kicks the ball out. Yager gets it over to Teal. Teal will walk it across to half court for the Cavaliers. Nine, eight seconds remaining. Kicks the ball on the right side. Yager kicks it over, driving into the paint. Shot good with Treaty knocking down two right at the buzzer. And that's how we'll end the first quarter, 10-6. Blair Bears down by four here after one. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Blair basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. Homework, soccer, part-time jobs, the Internet. Are you and your busy kids forgetting something? Whatever you overlook, please don't forget music. Hi, I'm Vince Gill. Music study is probably the most valuable way that a student can spend time. Time spent in practicing and studying music reinforces teamwork, communication skills, self-discipline, focus, and creativity. All the qualities that the kids really need to be successful in their other schoolwork and in society. Let your kids know that music is a whole lot more than what they hear on the radio. And the more they learn about it, the more they'll enjoy listening to their favorite tunes. Then maybe they can explain to you why they think it's so cool. Hey, turn off that TV and play some music with your kids. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for... Welcome back to Blair Basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. End of one, Blair down by four here, 10-6 to, to the Cavaliers. A lot of game left, hang right in there. Cavaliers will have the ball to start the second quarter. Yaga will inbounds to Teal in the backcourt. She'll bring it across. 10-6, they lead. Crosses over to the left side. Swinging the ball all the way out front. Bezai now has it. Teal, deep in the corner, brings it out on the left wing. Now sets up the offense, top of the key. 
on the right side. Yeager looks for the cutters. Nobody there. Swings it back out. Treaty right back to Teal. Teal now looking. Can't find anybody. Swings it over. Ooh, wide open, but Treaty passes it up. Here's a three on the way and gets it by Yager. Yager knocking down a three. And it's 13-6. Cavaliers leading over the Blair Bears. Anderson to Blaha. Blaha's going to get double team. Looks, kicks it over to Trulin. Trulin on the right wing. Drives in, gets it to Locke. Locke feeds it underneath the trainer. Back out to Anderson. Drives in, right back to the trainer. That's a good shot. No good. Rebound fought for. Yeager comes up with it. Gets it out to Teal. Teal brings it across to half court. Picked up by Anderson. Free throw line. Makes a nice move inside the paint. Shot no good. Rebound fought for. Put right back up as Vesa comes down with that rebound. And then the Blair Bears bring it up with Anderson. Laha looks. Can't find anybody. Crosses corner. And, ooh, Jaeger comes up and knocks it out of bounds with 6.36 remaining here in the first half. 13-6. Cavaliers leading. Inbounds to Anderson. Right back to Blaha. Blaha steps up. Gets it over to Trulin on the right side. The ball is tipped away, and Beza comes up with a loose ball. Teal swings it up. Jaeger looks, <coughs> swings it down on the block. Turnaround shot, kiss off the glass is good by Chappick. So Chappick knocks down her first two here tonight. 15-6. Anderson has it, and we're going to have a timeout called by Blair. So it's a full timeout here with 6-11 remaining here in the first half, 15-6. Cavaliers starting to stretch that lead out, only down by four of the Blair Bears. Now knock another five on there, down by nine. As it's 15-6, Cavaliers leading over the Blair Bears. We want to thank Herder Orthodontics, Thielen family, Shaney family, Mertlick family, Blair Telephone Company. Fort Myers, TV Appliance, Radio Shack Dealer, and your local Verizon authorized wireless retailer. Mac, SNS Pumping Service. Also, Nielsen Construction, Spring Bridge Development, Heritage Villas. Jim Ralph Agency, Blair Real Estate, Blair Basketball Club, Washington County Bank, Heartland Family Dentistry, John and Mary Stewart, Leroy Virginia Swanson, Nannan and Heart Physical Therapy, your leader in sports medicine for over 18 years. Thanks for joining us here tonight. And right now the Blair Bears down by nine, 15 to six. Blaha gets the ball inbounds in the backcourt. She'll bring it across. Kicks it on the left side. Trulin looks. High post. Trainer. Right back to Anderson between the circles. Step back. Drives on the right side. Lays it up. No good. Rebound brought down by Chabik. Chabik gets the ball. Out to Teal. Teal brings it up. Spots up for a three. Puts it up and gets it. So Teal knocking down a three. And it's 18-6 now. As the Cavaliers starting to knock down threes. Blaha kicks it on the right side. Nobody there. And it goes out of bounds with 534 remaining here in the first half. 18-6. As the Blair Bears... <coughs> Struggling here in the second quarter. And the Cavaliers knocking down two threes and a field goal. Outscoring Blair eight to nothing. Teal out front. Vesa kicks it down low. Treaty gets it in. Kicks it right around. Teal sets up. Another three on the way. Off the back of the rim. No good. Long rebound. Anderson comes down with it. Knocked away. Vesa pops up inside the paint. Shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Kelsey Chappick, a 5'9 sophomore. And she's going to be fouled by Wakefield. So Wakefield picks up her first foul. And Chappick will go to the line to shoot two. Fouled in the act. Kelsey, first one up off the back of the rim, no good. 5.09 remaining in the first half. Kelsey with the second one on the way, and nothing but net. And it's 19 to 6 here. With 5.05 remaining in the first half. Anderson on the right side.
Trulin looks, gives it to Wakefield, swings it around the lock, down on the baseline on the left side. Powell steps out, goes all the way to the top of the key, swings it over to Anderson, tries to get over to Wakefield, goes out of bounds, and that's going to stay with the Blair Bears. Lauren Vesa. Maduna checking in for Wahoo Newman. Kicks it on the right side. Powell stops, brings it. Wakefield swings it. Lock comes in. There's Powell. Cuts around, goes in for two. So Powell knocks down two here. She has four points there in the first half. Newman quickly bringing the ball right back. Teal, top of the key. Swings it on the right side, right back to her. Treaty. Here's a three on the way by Maduna. And it goes out of bounds, so we'll have a foul here. So the foul will be called on Bloom. That will be her first. 4-12 remaining in the first half, 19-8. Good job by Anderson, drives all the way around, gets the pick, takes it all the way in. Nobody picks her up, and she goes right in for the score. Quickly, Teal brings it up, 19-10, down by nine here. The Blair Bears with 3.53 remaining. Newman swings the ball. Teal open for another three on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down underneath. Treaty comes down with it, gets the teal. She drives into the paint. Shot no good. Locke comes down with the rebound, kicks it out for Anderson. Anderson brings it up. 3.38 remaining in the first half. Quickly coming up. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Blair Bears. Last touch there by Treaty as the 5'8 senior knocking it away. 3.32 remaining here in the first half. Still 19-10. Trulin inbounds to lock. Right back. Powell spots up for a three and gets it. Audrey Powell knocks down a three. And it's 19-13. Six-point lead for the Cavaliers. Blair trying to chip away at that lead. Teal has it on the left side. Baseline. Ball kicked right back out. Trulin at the top of this point. Swing it around. Here's a three on the way. That's going to be short. Backside rebound by Anderson. Good anticipation. Kicks the ball. Nice pass. The lock goes in on the left side. Lays it up. No good. And she'll be fouled. Looks like it could be Jaeger that had the foul. Yager, excuse me. Yager with her first foul. And going to the line will be Locke. Locke will shoot two here. Three minutes exactly remaining. First one up, no good. 19-13. Lock with the second one coming up. On the way, no good. Rebound pulled down on the back side. Quickly by Chavik. Gets it out to Teal. She'll walk it across. 19-13, six-point lead for the Cavaliers. Swinging the ball around. Yager has it. Swings it down on the baseline. Chabik. Kelsey. Gets it in to Shelby Chabik. And she knocks down two. And it's 2.34 remaining here in the first half. Trulin has it on the right side. 21-13. Cavaliers leading. Blaha right back to Trulin. Feeds it. High post. Lock. Gets it. Swings it. Down low, Powell goes up for the shot and gets it. Nice shot by Powell as she knocks down two. With 2.13 remaining, 21-15. Chavik high post, swings it over on the right side. Baseline is Kelsey Chavik, swinging the ball around. Maduna kicks it out to Teal, and they swing it. Teal now overloading on the left side. High post, turn around, shot, no good by Chavik. Shelby gets it out. Ooh, here comes Trulin, left-handed shot. Good. What a shot by Trulin. Nice catch and shot, and that is her first two points here tonight. 21-17, 139 remaining. Teal steps up. Gets it on the right side. Swings the ball on the left side to Yager. Yager down low. Chappick. Teal spots up for the three. Not there. 
Swinging the ball around. Gets it on the right side. Here's a three on the way off the back of the rim. No good. Trulin comes down with a rebound. Brings it up. Stops. Comes across half court. On the right side. Back to Blaha. Blaha steps up. Swings it over. Three on the way by Trulin. That'll be short. No good. Locke with a nice rebound. Puts it back up for two. And she's going to go to the line to try to complete that three-point play. Shelby Chadwick with her first. And Locke will be at the line. See if she can complete the three-point play here. With 59 seconds remaining, she can bring Blair within one here. Blair fighting back. On the way, no good. Rebound on the backside. Picked up by Treaty. Treaty gets it out to Teal. Teal walks it up. 21-19, two-point ball game here. Cavaliers leading over the Bear Bears. Swinging the ball around. Lisa, here's a long two on the way. Trainer comes down with the ball for the Blair Bears. Gets it over to Anderson. Right back to Blaha. Blaha looks back to Anderson. Anderson feeds Wakefield down low. Tries to get it inside the lock. Ball tipped around. Wakefield chases it down. And then gets it out. And we're going to have a timeout call by the Blair Bears. So Blair picks up the timeout, 27 seconds remaining, 21-19. Try to set up for that last shot. Only down by two here, so the Blair Bears come roaring back here in the second quarter as they were down only by four here at the end of one. And then they turn around and uh, were down by as much as nine, almost 11 or 13 points, and now have fought their way all the way back as they're only down by two here, 21-19. Trulin, averaging 15 points a ball game, only has two points here so far. But Powell doing a good job. She has nine points here already in the first half. 21-19, 27 seconds remaining in the first half. Blair down by two. They'll have the ball on the far side. Trulin will inbounds for the Blair Bears. Lock steps out, gets it to Blaha. Blaha now swings it around. Between the circles. On the left side, Anderson. Anderson gets it to Trulin. Trulin now top of the key. Hands it off to Blaha. 17 seconds remaining. Kicks it over to Trulin. And then losing the ball. Almost going out of bounds. Kicking it out. And then the Cavaliers come up with it. With six seconds remaining. Treaty kicks it back. Oh, Teal spots up for a three and gets it. So Teal knocking down a three. And... Unbelievable turnaround here at halftime as the ball gets stolen away and they end up knocking down a three, 24-19 instead of being two points down. They'll end up being five points down here at halftime, 24 to 19. Cavaliers leading over the Blair Bears. That is the third three that Teal knocked down here in the first half. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the halftime right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. Soccer, part-time jobs, the internet. Are you and your busy kids forgetting something? Don't forget music. Hi, this is Faith Hill. Music study is one of the most valuable ways a student can spend time. Time spent in practicing and studying music reinforces teamwork, communication skills, self-discipline, and creativity. All the qualities kids need to be successful in their schoolwork and in society. Let your kids know that music is a whole lot more than what they hear on the radio. And the more they learn about it, the more they'll enjoy listening to their favorite tunes. Then maybe they can explain to you why they think it's so cool. Hey, turn off the TV and play music with your kids. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for Music Education. 
Music, part of a sound education. Welcome back to Blair Basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. I'm Jim Lockery along with Shane Morris here at halftime. The Blair Bears find themselves down 24-19, but, boy, they had a chance. They were only down by two. They could have tied it up or went ahead by one. Instead, they ended up getting the ball turned over, and then Teal comes down, hits her third three, and puts them up by five. So a huge turnaround there, Shane, right at the end of the first half. Well, oh, absolutely, and I... I'm not one to usually complain about Russ, but it looked like they might have missed one there because it looked like the defender kind of went through Michelle to get to that ball. Yeah, she got a clean hand on it, but there was a lot of body contact. Pretty much knocked Michelle off of her spot. She couldn't recover and even get down to, to make a play on the ball after it was tipped away, and that's usually generally a foul, but, uh, you know, we didn't get the call. They got, a, they got a kick out three, and that feels a good shooter. She's three for six in the first half from three. So she can shoot the ball. You know, that's 50% from three. That's It'll take that all night long every night. And so she's a good can... shooter, and it, you, they did the right thing. They collected the ball, worked it for, you know, the brief few seconds they had, found an open shot, and were able to knock it down and took advantage. Now we know why the uh, freshman is starting. <laughs> Absolutely. She can play basketball. There's no doubt about yep. it. Works the ball well. She's got a good head. Uh, she doesn't get panicky out there. and. Knocking down three threes already here in the first half. But the Blair Bears. They're shooting really, much uh, better. Yeah, yeah. I got them unofficially almost 70%, about 66% from the field tonight. That's a much better percentage than we saw the other night. So that's a uh, that's a really good sign. They're getting some layups. They're getting into the lane. They're getting some backdoor cuts. They're getting some transits and buckets. And they're going in. Making some nice plays. Getting some layups to go in. And once that starts happening, then the outside shots start to fall, it seems like. Get a couple layups, and all of a sudden you feel better about yourself. You take a three, and it goes in. And Audrey Powell's have a, had a great first half. You know, she 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 goes to the goes to the hole a couple times, gets some layups, hits a long. I think they called it a two. I thought it was a three, but uh, hit a long shot, and it comes down, hits a you know a, a baseline shot, doing an excellent job of, of shooting the ball tonight for the Bears. She does have one three on the night. And they must they must have so, called it a three yeah, then. Yeah. So she's she's doing she's doing an excellent job, especially when Michelle's been just a little bit off tonight. Newman knows what the Bears are about. They're doing a really good job of making Michelle work for every touch, not just a shot, but for every touch. And when you do that, it makes a it makes a star player that you have it it, it wears them out because they can't just go get the ball and then have to work. You seem to have more energy when you got the ball in your hands. She yeah. has to work just to get the ball. They're, they're bracketing her. They're doubling her. They're making her fight and fight. They're hedging screens. They're bumping her off screens. And so it's, it's a real difficult for her to get a clean pass on the ball. So they're, they're doing a good job defensively, and that's what Newman does. They play really good, de solid defense. 24-19 is not real high scoring in a, in a basketball game. And, you know, credit the Bears because they're doing the same thing on the other end. They're, they're making the... Newman girls work hard for all their their looks too, but you know they're really really doing a good job with Michelle tonight. So getting Audrey to really step up like she has that first half has been a, a real godsend for the Bears because it's given them given them that second opportunity to score points, and we we've needed it tonight. Newman is uh, pretty well known too for that uh, low scoring games. They play tough defense. Uh, they are very patient on offense, and they're demonstrating that tonight. I. I think I've seen them probably pop more threes out front and long shots, but that could be that the Blair Bears are, you know, they're dropped back in that zone, and they're just they're going to let them take the uh, shots from the outside. And, uh, you know, down towards the end of the first half, it looked like it was a good strategy because the Blair Bears, uh, they were not making the shot, Newman, and, and we were able to pick it up and uh, get back within two. And then all of a sudden that turnover with the three, and it got out. But only five points down, that's nothing here. Uh, for that second half. so Well, in the first quarter, Newman started off pretty hot. They were shooting over 60% from the field. And in that second quarter, they started to definitely cool off like you talked about. And and they were they dropped almost all the way down to 40% shooting from a high of 60% in that first quarter. So it was working. Like you said, it was working. That shot 
that last three only puts them about about 45 percent for the half. The Bears are about 65 percent for the half shooting. We're just not getting as many shots as we normally get because they, like you said, they play really good defense. They're they're a, what you call a grinder. They grind teams. They grind you and they grind you. They make you work and you got to fight for everything. You can't get a clean release off of a screen and you can't get a clean pass in to your star player and you can't get a clean pass into the paint when they've got a good seal there's just it makes it real difficult to run offense the, the plus side is is if you can get them to overplay something you can get them back door and we've done that a couple times we've got to keep working that and then that pressure on the ball will start to subside a little bit and we'll be able to get a few more things going but we've got to keep working that back door make them pay for their aggressive in your face grinding kind of defense when you look at the scoring here in the first half uh, the first quarter Newman scores 10 the Blair Bears score six and so only a four-point deficit and the Blair Bears really kind of fell behind there in that second quarter but able to really pick it up halfway through and uh, Newman only outscores them 14 to 13 and that's how we end up at half a five-point deficit 24 19 Newman leading over the Blair Bears well, we'll and they started with the Audrey Powell backdoor cut. Yeah. They, they came out of the timeout, run a nice play for her. She goes down the lane, makes a nice layup, and that was her first points of the game, and it was about halfway through that second quarter. And then from that point on, the Bears really started to, to attack and really started to hit some shots and did a nice job on the offensive, offensive end of the court. The key this second half is to keep that up, take that momentum that they had, because that one shot, yeah, it's a big shot, but it's not going to make the difference in this game. And Morgan if Anderson, you come out and yeah. play with that same kind of fire, passion, and momentum you had to end that second quarter, you'll be able to keep it going. You'll make up that three-point shot in no, no time flat. So it's, it's really key to not let that shot bother you too much because it's just one shot. Okay, it was a fluky play. Probably should have been a foul. Put it behind you. Come out and play like you finished that second quarter, and, and you'll be fine. So that's the key for the Bears the second half. Morgan Anderson did a good job of coming down the court and then just took it all the way to the hoop. And... I think sometimes she gets away with that because they're kind of, I don't think they expect her to go to the hoop, but boy, I tell you, for 5 1, she, uh, she doesn't hesitate to get right in there and go well, to the she's hoop. A quick she's a quick player. Open. She does a great job for the Bears. I'm going to go ahead and jump back up on the camera. Individual scoring for the first half. Uh, Trini had two points for Newman, Yager had three points. Vesa comes off the bench, she adds three points. And then Chapik had four points. Along with Kelsey Chappick, she added one point, and Teal had 11 points for the Cavaliers. For the Blair Bears, Morgan Anderson had two points, Trulin had two points, Sidney Locke had six points, and Powell had nine points there in the first half. We're going to be underway here as Blaha will have it in the backcourt. Brings it up, kicks it on the right side, swings it to... Trainer, trainer gets it to Locke. Locke looks. Here comes Trulin. She goes in for the shot, and she'll be blasted. And we'll see who the foul is on. That will be on Treaty. That will be her second. And Trulin will go to the line. She'll shoot two. First one up. Off the back of the rim, no good. 7:47 remaining. Trulin, 61% from the line on the year. Second one on the way, and good. So knocks down one of two. Teal brings it up, gets it over to Blum. Blum now back to Teal. Teal between the circles. Yager kicks it down low. Chappick kicks it all the way out, and now we're going to have traveling calls going up high was Blum, and she was in there with Teal and then went down on the court with the ball, and so it's traveling. 24-20. Blair four points down here. Laha brings it on the left wing as Anderson. Anderson looks. Locke steps out, top of the key. Trainer looks. There's the cutter. Anderson open, goes up for the shot, and they're going to call it on the floor. Boy, if she would have went up for the shot, she'd be at the line to shoot two. Foul by Teal. That will be her second foul 723 remaining Trulin looks can't find anybody kicks it out for Blaha top of the key boy stepped up and then took off on the left side she's going to be called for traveling 
Four-point lead here for the Cavaliers. Yager will inbounds to Teal. Teal brings the ball up, top of the key, and then goes to the left wing. Baseline. Treaty kicks it around. Right back to Yager. Yager gets it over. Blum feeds it inside, right back. Here's a three on the way, off the rim, no good. Nice box out by Locke, gets it up for Trulin. Trulin goes in on the right side, lays it up, no good. She'll go to the line to shoot two. So foul. Yager. Yager will get her second foul. And Trulin right back at the line. She'll shoot two. 6.56 remaining. First one up, good. Trulin can try to put the Blair Bears within two here. With 6.56 remaining in the third quarter. Second one on the way, and good. So Trulin knocks them both down. It's 24-22, two-point lead. Teal has it out front. Swings it on the left side. Yager back down to Chappick. Right back to Yager. She swings it. Top of the key is Teal. Swings it over to Blum. Blum swings it into Treaty. Here's a three on the way. Rims in and out. No good. Backside rebound. Put back up by Blum, and she's going to be fouled. So Bloom gets the rebound, and Anderson, that will be her second foul. <laughs> Bloom will shoot two here. First one up, rims in and out, no good. 6.33 remaining here in the third. Bloom can make it a three-point lead. Rims in and out, still just a two-point lead for the Cavaliers. Trulin with the rebound, gets it to Anderson, brings it around on the right side, and they're going to call her turning the ball over. The 6.24 remaining, 24-22. Cavaliers leading here in the third quarter. Yager will inbound to Teal. Teal brings it up between the circles. On the left side, Yager looks, baseline, Treaty, swings it right back, Teal. In the corner, Yager spots up for a three, puts it up and good. So Yager knocking down three. 27-22 with 6.03 remaining here in the third. Trulin goes down on the left side, goes up for the shot, kisses off the glass, no good. Powell comes down with a rebound, kicks it out for Wakefield. Wakefield swings it out, Anderson right back. Powell makes a move, stops, little shot, good. So Powell knocking down two. 27-24, three-point play or three-point difference. Treaty gets it right back. Teal, top of the key. Looks, swings it. Reza in the ball game. Treaty now cuts across. Powell will reach with the foul. So Powell reached in. That will be her third foul. With 5.29 remaining here in the third. Still a three-point lead for the Cavaliers. 27-24. <coughs> Treaty will inbound, swings the ball around, gets it over to Maduda, Gretz back, Teal with the three, no good, rebound, 5-4 on the back side. Basic comes out with it, kicks the ball back out. Maduna, Maduna, excuse me, Basic gets it to Teal, Teal now, high post, Jazik, turn around, shot, good, as Maduna comes from underneath, Knocks down two. Anderson brings it up. 29-24. Trulin gets it to Wakefield. Lock way out front. Baseline. Left side. Tries to get it into Trulin. That ball's going to be tipped away. Teal brings it up. <coughs> Swings it. Low block. Stepping out. Maduna kicks it out to Teal. Teal now top of the key. Right side. Vesa. Baseline. Chappick swings it. Teal gets it. Maduna, here's a three on the way. Off the rim, no good. Long rebound pulled down on the backside, and that's going to be lost by Maduna. As it ricochets off of her, so Trulin will come out as Blaha comes in with 421 remaining here in the third, 29-24. Blaha kicks it to Anderson. 
<coughs> Anderson brings it up, guarded by Teal. Gets it to Trainer. Trainer on the right wing. 29-24. Five-point lead for the Cavaliers. Ooh, Trainer open underneath. Turn around, shot. And she'll be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Rakowski now in the ball game for the Blair Bears. Maduna. Maduna picks up her first foul. 4.07 remaining in the third. Trainer shooting two. First one up. Good. Melissa Trainer. That is her first point of the ball game. She should knock down this second free throw. On the way and good. Not a lot of arc, but gets the job done. 4.06. Teal brings it up. Guarded by Anderson. 29-26. Three-point lead. Trini looks underneath, and the ball goes shooting out of bounds, and that'll be Blair's ball. They have a chance here to tie it up or get within one. Anderson brings the ball up, kicks it on the right side to Trainer. Trainer gets the pick, looks. Now she'll go down on the baseline on the right side underneath, takes a shot, no good. Chappie gets the rebound, kicks it out to Teal. Teal brings it up. Maduna on the right side gets it to Treaty and uh, Treaty will double dribble with 3.36 remaining here in the third. 29-26. Cavaliers leading by three. Trulin back into the ball game. Madonna crosses over. Teal guarding her. Left side is Trainer. Trainer looks. Locke goes to the basket. Catches. Shot good. Sydney Locke. Boy, she's done a good job of catching and kissing off the glass. Bl brings Blair within one, 29-28, and a timeout called by Simons. As Jason Simons says, got to have a timeout here with 317 remaining here in the third. The Blair Bears have worked themselves into just a one-point deficit. Let's see if they can get closer. Stay tuned here. We're in the third quarter. We want to thank Herder Orthodontics, Thielen Family, Shaney Family, Mertlich Family, Blair Telephone Company, Fort Myers, TV Appliance, Radio Shack Dealer, and your Verizon Authorized Wireless Retailer. Mac, s, s Pumping Service, Jim Ralph Agency, Blair Real Estate, Nielsen Construction, Spring Ridge Development, Heritage Villas, Blair Basketball Club, Washington County Bank, Hartman Family Dentistry, John and Mary Stewart, Leroy Virginia Swanson, Nannan and Heart Physical Therapy. Also, American Broadband, your hometown internet cable television telephone provider. American Broadband, serving all of your communication needs. BlairSports.net is the website, and American Broadband Channel 97 is the place to go to pick up all of the live action. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Cavaliers will inbounds the ball on the far side. Teal dreams it up. One point lead, 29-28 for the Cavaliers. Chappick gets the ball, kicks it over to Besa. Right back, here's a three on the way, and Teal knocks it down. So a one point lead jumps out to a four point lead. Trulin gets it, high post, lock, gets it. Trainer will travel, and it's 32-28, 2.52 remaining in the third. 32-28. 32-28. Cavaliers leading here with 250 remaining in the third. Blair got within one, just couldn't hang on to it. Teal deadly at the three-point line. And then the skip pass all the way across goes into the Blair student body. Anderson brings the ball up on the left side, Trulin. Right back to Anderson. Anderson back to Trulin. Down low, Rakowski tries to get the ball back. Trulin steps, turns, gets it over to Anderson. Anderson, there's a skip pass underneath as Chappie comes up with a loose ball. Nice steal. Teal brings it up on the right side. Chappie loses it. Almost stolen away by Trulin. Now Chappie has it. Right back. Here's a two on the way and good. So Vesa will knock down two. Vesa with her two there. Trulin steps up. She'll pop a two, 15-footer. 
Locke comes down with a rebound, puts it up, no good. Rebound fought for. We're going to have a jump ball. And that's going to go to the Cavaliers on the alternating possession, 34-28. With 1.57 remaining here in the third, the Blair Bears six points down here. To the Cavaliers. Cavaliers will inbound. Yager will inbound to Teal. Teal will bring the ball up. Gets it across to half court. Guarded by Anderson. Kicks it out. Chaffick, high post. Treaty looks underneath. Kicks it out. Yager spots up for the three. Gets it. Basic pieces it inside, and Wakefield will foul Chaffick, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. So Wakefield picks up her second foul, and Chaffick will be at the line to shoot two here. First one up, no good. Chaffick missing the first one. 142 remaining. 34-28. Chaffick with the second free throw off the front of the rim, no good. Trulin comes down with a rebound, kicks it out to Anderson. Six-point lead still for the Cavaliers. Baseline is Powell. Powell looks, can't find it any. Now she drives baseline. Ball goes out of bounds. And so now Cavaliers will get the ball with 130 remaining in the third. 34-28. Teal brings it up. Sets it up. Top of the key. High post. Chavik steps out. Looks, can't find anybody. On the left wing, Yager, baseline. Here's Teal with another three and knocks it down. So Teal, five threes here so far in the ball game. 37-28. Trulin has it, steps in, gets it to Locke. Locke now tries to get it around to Powell, and it goes flying out of bounds with 57 seconds remaining here in the third, 37-28. Thirty-seven twenty-eight. The Blair Bears, boy, just getting close, and then the Cavaliers knocking down those threes. Teal brings it up. She's a big part of that. Forty-seven seconds remaining. Chabik kicks it, ball out. Treaty swings it around. Blum, right back to Teal. Teal now drives it to the left side baseline. Blum looks, can't find anybody. Cutters come through. Now she'll just drive in, and Trulin stepped in and couldn't get set. Blum runs into her, so Trulin picks up her first. And the Cavaliers will have it underneath their own basket. 31 seconds remaining, 37-28. Inbounds quickly. Yeager tries to bring it around. The loose ball. Teal will run this one down. Stops, and now we're going to have traveling called on Teal. So Teal with the travel. Blair will have the ball, 26 seconds remaining. Well, they got a good chance to knock this lead down to only seven. Or six. Anderson now working against Teal. Gets it over to Blaha. Blaha, ball stolen away. Picked up. Kicked out by Bloom. Gets it to Teal. Quickly around. Nice ball movement. Wide open on the backside was Trini, and Trini knocks down two. So 39-28 here, and then Trini comes down with the steal, but that's how we'll end the third quarter as Newman goes up 39-28 over the Blair Bears. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. Hey, I'm Patty Loveless. Remember how excited you were as a kid to go back to school at the end of summer? Seeing old friends, making new ones, getting new books and a new locker, a clean slate, and music class, that special room where you went to sing and perform with your friends and learn all sorts of interesting stuff about great composers and instruments and different kinds of music. We remember our music teachers because they were so passionate about helping us to learn to love music. They help spark a love for listening to notes and voices and rhythms that continues to enrich our lives even today. Know what? 
I bet your kids feel the same way about music class. Ask them and make sure they get involved with music in school this year. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for Music Education. Music, part of a sound education. Welcome back to Blair Basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. Blair will have the ball, start the fourth quarter. Anderson gets it to Blaha, right back to Anderson. Anderson now brings it around, gets it on the baseline to Trainer. Trainer right back out to Blaha. We're going to have a foul called on Trainee. So Trainee picks up her third foul. <laughs> 7.48 remaining in the contest, 39-28. Blair needs to rally up here with some points. Blaha looks, gets it over to Anderson. Anderson, Trulin, baseline, stops. Cross court to Blaha, right back, trainer, baseline, shot, no good. Nice rebound by Locke, fights and tears the ball away and puts it right back up for two. So Locke battling inside. Gets the lead down to nine, 39-30. Teal gets it over. Chappick loses the ball, Lock knocking it away, and then Blaha knocks the ball out of the hands of Trini. Teal, way out front, top of the key. Right side, Blum has it. Can't find anybody. Trini now looks for the cutting, and here's Teal for another three, knocks it down. So Teal feeling it here tonight, knocks down another three, 6.59 remaining. Blaha in the corner. Trulin tries to cross court. Trini comes up, steals it. She'll go all the way in on the right side, lays it up for two. So Trini knocking down two. And it's 44-30. The Blair Bears down right now with 648 remaining here in the contest as the Cavaliers picking up five to two. Outscoring the Blair Bears by three here, and they're up 44 to 30. So a 14-point lead for the Cavaliers with just 6.48 remaining here in the contest. We want to thank Washington County Bank, Heartland Family Dentistry, Leroy Virginia Swanson, John and Mary Stewart, s and Pumping Service, Mac, Fort Myers, TV Appliance, Radio Shack Dealer, and your local Verizon authorized wireless retailer, Blair Telephone Company, Murdoch Lake Family, Shaney Family, T Thielen Family, and also Herder Orthodontics. Anderson will inbounds to Blaha, gets it back to Anderson. Anderson will walk the ball up, gets it across to half court. Blaha right back to Anderson. Anderson swings it in the corner. Trulin steps out, crosses court. Blaha comes through, gets it, gets it over to Anderson. Anderson finds Trainer. Nice catch, shot, no good. Rebound by Trainer, kicks the ball out for Locke. Locke now kicks it out to Blaha. It's going to go to the back court. Hustling after it, Teal, and it goes out of bounds, but it's going to be over and back. So the Waho Newman will get the ball underneath their own basket with 6.21 remaining here in the contest, 44-30. Teal will inbounds, and we're going to have a substitution coming in here with Powell stepping in for Teal, or for, uh, excuse me, Trainer. Teal will inbounds for the Cavaliers. Lobs it in to Trini, right back to Teal. Teal dribbles out, gets it out. Jaeger swings it, ooh, and Chappick with that little stutter step. She'll be called for traveling with 6.15 remaining here in the contest. 44-30. Anderson brings the ball up. Laha has it, left side, right back to Anderson. Swings it in the corner to Trulin. Trulin now steps back. Swings it out, top of the key is Anderson. Blaha, left wing. Dribbles in, stops, takes the shot. That'll be short. Rebound pulled down by Blum. She will kick the ball back out to Teal. Teal brings the ball up, who all the way down. Jaeger catch shot on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down, right back up by Bloom. And Bloom stepping in, knocking down two, and it's 46-30. 16-point lead here for the Cavaliers. Blaha back to Anderson. Anderson baseline. Trulin with a shot, no good. Rebound pulled down, right back. Trulin with the second shot, good. So Trulin gets two shots from the same spot, knocks it down on the second one, and it's 46-32, 5-28 remaining here in the contest. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. As the Blair Bears trying to fight back into this one, plenty of time, 5-28, 46-32. 
They're trying to get back into it. And Nielsen Construction, Spring Ridge Development, Heritage Villas. Jim Ralph Agency, Blair Real Estate, SNS Pumping Service, Mac, Fort Myers, TV Appliance, Radio Shack Dealer, your local Verizon authorized wireless retailer. American Broadband, your hometown internet, cable television, telephone provider. American Broadband, serving all of your communication needs. 528 remaining in this contest. Blair down 39 to 28 at the end of the third period. The Cavaliers outscoring the Blair Bears 7 to 4 here in the fourth. 46-32. Cavaliers will have the ball. They'll try to go 94 feet here. Maduna, 5'5", five, five, sophomore, will inbounds. Kicks it out for Teal. Teal now gets it across to half court. Swings it down deep. And travel will be called on Vasa as she traveled underneath. And so Trulin will inbounds for the Blair Bears, 46-32. Anderson brings the ball up. Stays on the left side. Kicks it over to Trainer. Trainer now steps out. Anderson swings it. Baseline is Locke. Locke looks, crosses over. Anderson catches it. Goes into the paint. Tries to get it underneath. Ball loose. Locke slips it out. And then Teal comes up with it for the Cavaliers. 46 32. Cavaliers leading here. Teal brings it up. Picked up by Anderson. Treaty kicks it over. Oh, the offensive foul, no doubt about it. As Kelsey Chappick using that elbow to make space with 4.42 remaining, and she'll pick up that foul. That is her first. Trainer right back to Anderson. Anderson crosses over to Trainer. Trainer down in the corner. Trulin with the three. No good. Rebound pulled down. As Trini comes out with it, gets it up to Teal. Teal goes into the left side, lays it up for two. So Teal knocking down two. On the rebound, the release by the Cavaliers. They're just taking off, and with 4.14 remaining, they lead 48-32. Anderson with the three off the front of the rim, no good. Long rebound. Teal comes down with it, looks over. Trini will go into the left side, lay that one up. No good. Rebound fought for. And we're going to have a foul as I think Teal might have went over the back. So Teal went over the back. That is her third. 4-0-2 remaining. Substitutions coming in here as Blaha checks back in. Wakefield will check in. And it's 1-1 one one as 17 foul on the Cavaliers. Trainer will be at the line. She'll shoot a 1-1. One one. First one up. Good. So Trainer will get the bonus. Trainer knocking that one down. She's about 24% from the line on the year. Knocks the second one down. That's going to help her average. She is perfect from the line here so far tonight. Inbounds. Who kicks the ball over as Chappie will be called for traveling. Not exactly the one that you want to have the ball in the backcourt. With 3.57 remaining, 48-34. Blair Bears trying to get back in this one. Trainer has him on the left wing. Right back to Blaha. Blaha looks. Can't find anybody. Trulin spots up. Three on the way. Gets it. Trulin knocking down a three. 48-37. Full court pressure put on. Quick tries to get the ball up, tips it around. Chavik has it, tries to go up, and we're going to have a blocking foul called on the Blair Bears. So Wakefield picks up her third. As Chavik will be at the line. And this is Shelby. First one on the way, no good. So Shelby misses. The front end of the two here. 3.33 remaining. Second one on the way. Off the rim. No good. Backside rebound. Picked up by Trulin. Kicks it out for Blaha. Gets it out for Trainer. Trainer drives in. Shot. No good. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. 
So trainer at the line. As Yeager will pick up her third. And we're going to have a timeout called by Wahoo Newman. It'll be a full timeout. As trainer will be back at the line, she'll shoot two here. As she was fouled in the act. With 3.26 remaining in the Blair Bears, boy, they just have to keep keep going to the line. They have to keep forcing the issue, trying to get in there. They're down 48-37 here, trying to get back into this ball game. 11 points down, and with 3.26 remaining, three-point plays can definitely help out. We want to thank Herder Orthodontics, Thielen family, Shaney family, Mertlick family, Blair Telephone Company, Ortmeyer's TV Appliance, Radio Shack dealer, your local Verizon authorized wireless retailer. Washington County Bank, Heartland Family Dentistry, also Blair Basketball Club, Leroy Virginia Swanson, John and Mary Stewart, Nannan and Hart Physical Therapy, your leader in sports medicine for over 18 years. American Broadband, your hometown internet, cable television, telephone provider, American Broadband serving all of your communication needs. Trainer at the line. See if she can knock down two here. Two timeouts for both teams. Trainer, first one up, good. Knocks that one down. Ten point ball game. Trying to get it down to single digits here. Trainer, second one on the way. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down on the backside nicely by Treaty. Treaty hangs on to it, gets it out to Teal. Teal walks the ball up, gets it across to half court. Top of the key. Swings it over. Treaty looks. Coming off the cut. Chappick now. High post. Can't find anybody. Cross court. Ooh, Trulin almost gets it, and then she's going to pick up the foul. As Treaty was driving to the basket. So that's her second. Cavaliers will have the ball underneath their own basket with 3.06 remaining here in the contest. Leading by 10, 48-38. Trini steps out, swings the ball around. Yeager looks, can't find anybody. Ooh, cross court. Powell might have had a chance. Did a good job of holding up. Teal, way out front. Yeager on the right wing. Above the arc, looks. Plum down in the corner on the right side. Kicks the ball back out. Teal now will have it between the circles. Anderson guarding them. They'll be patient. We've got a 10-point lead. Plum has it, looking for the cutter. And now we're going to have a foul call. So Powell picks up her fourth foul. 2.36 remaining in the contest. Powell has four fouls here, and Blum will be at the line. She'll shoot a one and one. First one up. Good. So Blum knocks down the front end of the one and one. That gives her the bonus. Second one on the way, and good. Anderson walks the ball up, gets it across to half court. Steps back, drives in, gets it over to Powell. Powell now comes out, loses it, picks it up. She'll go back to the left side. Double team, splits that, gets it in the corner to Trulin, but first Treaty will knock it out of bounds. And so the Blair Bears will have it back here with 2.18 remaining. Here in the contest, 50-38. Trainer tries to get it inside. It's picked off. Teal will bring it in on the right side. Lay it up for an open two. And Teal knocks down two. 52-38. With 2.02 remaining. Anderson brings it up. Tries to get it across. And Trini will knock the ball away. With 159 remaining in the contest. Trulin. Inbounds for the Blair Bears. Lock steps out, swings it to Anderson, swings it around to Trainer. Trainer takes a step right back to Anderson. Gets it into Powell. Powell now turns, tries to get it back to Trulin, and then Yeager knocks the ball. Yager, excuse me, knocks the ball out of bounds. And with 148 remaining, Blair has the ball under their own basket. Powell skip pass to Anderson. Anderson in the corner. Trulin spots up. That'll be short. On the three, it's tipped out of bounds. That'll go to the Cavaliers. 141 remaining here in the contest, 52-38. Cavaliers will inbound. 
Kicks it, gets it to Teal, swings the ball around. Bloom gets it across half court, looks cross over. Yager has it, back to Teal. Setting up the offense, 130 remaining. 52-38. Cavaliers leading here over the Blair Bears, and we've got double dribble. As Yager caught it and then dribbled. So Anderson will inbounds for the Blair Bears as Andre Powell will check in for the Blair Bears. Anderson kicks it out to Blaha. Blaha brings it across half court in the corner. Powell right back to her. Swing it around, trying to get it into lock, and going over is Chappett. As Shelby will be called for the foul. So Shelby Chappick will pick up her second. And Locke will be at the line to shoot the one and one here. Sydney Locke with the one and one with 116 remaining. First one up, gets it, knocks it down. Good job by Locke. She'll have the bonus coming up. Let's see if she can get that 40th point on there. Up and rims in and out, no good. Rebound fought for. Trainer comes down with it, kicks it out, right back to her. Fakes the shot, goes in, kisses it off the glass and gets it. So Trainer knocking down two. And the Blair Bears now, 52-41, trying to get this down to single digits. Plenty of time yet with 106 remaining in the contest. 52-41, Cavaliers leading over the Blair Bears. We want to thank Herder Orthodontics. Also, Leroy Virginia Swanson, Nannan and Hart Physical Therapy, your leader in sports medicine for over 18 years. Leroy Virginia Swanson. Also, Hartland Family Dentistry, Washington County Bank, Blair Basketball Club, Nielsen Construction, Spring Ridge Development, Heritage Villas, Jim Ralph Agency, Blair Real Estate, SNS Pumping Service, MAC. Newman will have the ball underneath the basket, 94 feet away. Trini gets the inbound. She'll bring it up on the side. And then the ball is thrown, and we're going to have travel call. Trulin takes that one right off the nose. As Trini will try to keep it inbounds. 103 remaining. 52-41. Blair comes up with a nice turnover here. Anderson tries to swing it. The ball tipped around, and Champik will come up with it. Locke will foul. So Sydney Locke will pick up the foul. That is her first foul. <clears throat> 56 seconds remaining. One and one will be Shelby Chavik. She will be at the line for the one and one here. First one up. No good. Rebound on the backside. Trulin fighting for it. Coming in and stepping out of bounds. That will go to Blair. So Blum will be trying to get that rebound. Steps out of bounds. Trulin gets it inbounds to Anderson, brings it up. Blair has a chance here to really close the gap. Gets it to Trulin. Trulin now steps up. She'll pop the long two and gets it. So Trulin knocking down two here. And it's 43, 52-43. So the Blair Bears get the ball within nine here. 43 seconds remaining in the contest. And boy, the Blair Bears really have tried to Keep the pressure on. Got a couple of turnovers. And <laughs> see if they can keep this one going here. Still plenty of time. 43 seconds. And Blair Bears now, they're out of timeouts. So they'll have to do it either on fouls, scoring the points, turnovers, trying to make the steal. Great thing right now, though, is the Blair Bears have never given up. They're still in there fighting, trying to steal the ball away. Yager will inbounds for the Cavaliers. 94 feet away. Blair trying to put that full court pressure on. Yager kicks it in. Trini brings it across. Teal now has it. Looks, can't get it by. There's a steal. Locke goes over the shot and good. So Sidney Locke knocks down two here. Ball stolen away. Ooh, kicked right back, and the Cavaliers come up with it. Yager has it. 25 seconds away, and now foul as Trulin will foul Yager. So Trulin picks up her third foul. 
And Yager will go to the line. She'll shoot him. Still just a one and one with a ninth team foul. So Powell checks back in with the Blair Bears. 23 seconds remaining in this contest. Yager at the line. She's got the one and one here. First one up. Good. So Yager knocks that one down. 53-45. Eight-point lead for the Cavaliers. Second one on the way. Now make it nine. So knocks that one down. The Blair Bears, three possessions here. Brings it up with 20 seconds remaining. Set up. Trainer with the shot. No good. Treaty comes down with it. Flips it. Kicks it out. Look. Yager now gets it right back. Teal has it and she'll be fouled by Anderson. So Teal will go to the line. She'll shoot two. Anderson picks up her third foul. And Teal will be at the line with 8.8 .8 seconds remaining. Teal shooting two here. First one up. Good. I would imagine she does not miss very many free throws. So far tonight, she has not missed any. 55-45, 10-point lead. Teal, second one on the way. Good. 56-45, eight seconds remaining. Treland brings the ball up all the way, sets up, fires up a long two. No good. Rebound pulled down on the backside. As Blum has it, gets it over to Teal, and that's how we're in the ball game. 56 to 45 over the Blair Bears, so <clears throat> the Blair Bears will drop this one. 56 to 45 over the Cavaliers. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more Blair basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. Homework, soccer, part-time jobs, the internet. Are you and your busy kids forgetting something? Whatever you overlook, please don't forget music. Hi, I'm Vince Gill. Music study is probably the most valuable way that a student can spend time. Time spent in practicing and studying music reinforces teamwork, communication skills, self-discipline, focus, and creativity. All the qualities that the kids really need to be successful in their other schoolwork and in society. Let your kids know that music is a whole lot more than what they hear on the radio. And the more they learn about it, the more they'll enjoy listening to their favorite tunes. Then maybe they can explain to you why they think it's so cool. Hey, turn off that TV and play some music with your kids. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for Music Education. Music, part of a sound education. Homework, soccer, part-time jobs, the internet. Are you and your busy kids forgetting something? Whatever you overlook, please don't forget music. Hi, I'm Vince Gill. Music study is probably the most valuable way that a student can spend time. Time spent in practicing and studying music reinforces teamwork, communication skills, self-discipline, focus, and creativity. All the qualities that the kids really need to be successful in their other schoolwork and in society. Let your kids know that music is a whole lot more than what they hear on the radio. And the more they learn about it, the more they'll enjoy listening to their favorite tunes. Then maybe they can explain to you why they think it's so cool. Hey, turn off that TV and play some music with your kids. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for Welcome back to Blair Basketball right here on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97. I'm Jim Lockery along with Shane Morris. We're here at halftime with the Blair Bears. Drop this one 56-45, but boy, I tell you, the uh, girls never gave up. I feel like they played a great game tonight. Coming off the, the game they had the other night, they came out and they shot really well. Unofficially, have them over 60% from the field tonight, which is a great, great shooting percentage in high school. The problem is, well, who knew me shot the same percentage, and they had a few more shots, and a few more of them were worth three than, uh, than the ones we had. So that, that kind of made the difference in the game. That feel for Newman, special player, very special player. I have her down, I think, seven, either six or seven threes on 12 attempts. That's unconscious for a freshman. Six threes, yeah. It, just unconscious. Six of twelve. That's fifty percent from three, and and they were effortless. It wasn't like she was having to force them. 
quick catch, quick release, and you know you give her any room at all, and and they were go, it was going up, and she made half of them. And you're going to make half your threes. You're going to shoot them all night long. The coach is never going to take you out of the game. And that's what she did. Uh, I think the, the first part of that game, she had all of her shots were threes. I don't think she made an actual two-point bucket or a free throw until that fourth quarter, Yeah, which is it's amazing. For a freshman to be able to pull that off, it, it, it would be hard for a team to beat, to beat them. Newman just does such a great job of moving the ball around. Blair was in a zone, or it was in a man-to-man early, and that fell into a zone. But the uh, movement of the ball, you can just see they're always moving the ball, moving without the ball, and uh, it's really hard. They, they, they keep that ball moving, and it becomes difficult. And then when they swing it back around, Teal's open from three, and she doesn't hesitate to just set her feet and effortlessly put it up and knock it down. But... Believe it or not, the Blair Bears tied them in the fourth quarter, 17 all, but just couldn't gain anything. They were down by 11 at the end of three, and they stayed down by 11 by the end of the game. So, 56 40 Like I said, I felt like the girls tonight played a very good game. 45 points in a Bishop Newman basketball game is a, is a fairly respectable point total to have. So, I felt like they played pretty well. It's just when a team has. Seven or six for 12 from three from a single player, it's it's hard to deal with. And, and like you said, they move the ball around really well. In high school, you do a lot of doubling, you hedge, you do all that kind of stuff. Well, when you got a shooter like Field, you can't do any of that. You got to stay in her hip pocket the entire time. You got to switch on every screen the entire time. And if you break concentration at all, she's going to get open and she's going to get the shot up. And you know, that, that happened several times tonight, and it's hard for for you to change pace from hedging and doubling and those kinds of things just to forget all of that and do nothing but guard one player all night. It's it's hard for your mind to change midstream like that, so it's, it's not surprising that she got as open as she did sometimes. Let's take a look at the scoring here for the game. When we started out the first quarter, uh, Newman led 10-6, to four-point deficit, and then at halftime, 24-19. Newman leading over the Blair Bears. Uh, Blair only led early. They led two to nothing right off the bat, and that was it. From that point on, it was Newman all the way. Third quarter, 39-28. Uh, Newman outscoring Blair Bear 15 to nine. But the fourth quarter, Blair trying to make that run. They tie it up 17 all, but it was just too much. They had 11 a point deficit to make up. Could not make it up. It's 56-45 victory for the Cavaliers. When we look at the Point totals individually. Treaty had six points for the Cavaliers. Yager had eight points. Blum had four points. Baza came off the bench. She added three points. Manduna had two points. Chappick, Shelby Chappick had four points. Kelsey Chappick had one point. And Morgan Baza had two points. Leading scorer for the Cavaliers, Teal, no had 26 <laughs> points on the night. <laughs> no surprise there. Yeah. For the Blair Bears tonight, Trainer had seven points. Anderson had two points. Good old Audrey Powell, boy, she's coming back in form. She had 11 points here tonight. She played a great game tonight. My player of the game. Also, Trulin had 12 points on the night. And Cindy Locke, though, I got to throw it to Cindy Locke. She was an excellent we'll player tonight. We'll go with tonight. a co tonight. A co yeah. <laughs> PlayerSports.net players of the game. She had Cindy Locke and... Uh, Audrey Powell, she had 13, very well. 13 points on the night for Locke, and a lot of hers, of course, came from battling on that inside. So I think she only missed maybe one down. or two buckets all night. Great game from Sydney. That's going to wrap it up here for you. At uh, Between games, we're going to kind of get organized for the second game coming up here. Blair Bears dropped this one 56 to 45. We'll uh, get ready for the boys coming up here shortly, so don't go away. We've got another one coming your way. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Double hitter, boy, Blair boys, right coming up. Hang in there. You're listening to Blair Basketball on BlairSports.net and American Broadband Channel 97.